King James Bible, the fifth book of Moses called Deuteronomy, chapter 7. And when the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Gig Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hevites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord God shall de deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor shew mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make it marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So, so will the... So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep his oath, which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out of the with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondsmen from the hand of the Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. He repayeth them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to the him that hath, that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgment which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these, to these judgment, and keep it, and do them, and the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sh swear unto thy fathers. And he will love thee, and bless thee, and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of the land, thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil, to increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep, in the land which he swear unto the fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon them that hate thee. And thou shalt consume all the people which the Lord thy God shall deliver thee. Thine eyes shall have no pity upon them, neither shalt, neither shalt thou serve their gods, for that will be a snare unto thee. If thou shalt say unto thine heart, These nations are more than I, how can I dispose, dispossess them? Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shalt, but shalt well remember that the Lord thy God did unto Pharaoh and all of Egypt, and unto all Egypt. The great temptation which thine eyes, eyes saw in the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm whereby the Lord thy God brought thee out, so shall the Lord thy God do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid. Moreover, the Lord thy God will send the hornet among them until they that are left and hide themselves of thee be destroyed. Thou shalt not be frightened of them, at them, for the Lord thy God is among you a mighty God and terrible. And the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee little by little, and little, and thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beasts of the field increase upon thee. But the Lord thy God shall deliver them unto thee, and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed. And he shall deliver their kings into thine hand, and thou shalt destroy their name from under heaven. And thou sh and there shall no man be able to stand before thee until thou have destroyed them. The graven images of their gods ye shall burn with fire, and thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be cursed thing like it, and but thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, 
for it is a cursed thing. Chapter 8 All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the day all the way which the Lord thy God led these forty years in the wilderness, to humble thee and to prove thee, to know that was in thine heart whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by the very every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. The raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as thy man chastiseth his son, so the Lord thy God chastiseth in thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness, thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the, go for the good land which he hath given thee. Beware that thou forget not thy Lord God, and do not keep in his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built goodly houses, and dwelt therein, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, with not that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end. And thou say in thine heart, heart, my power and thine might, my power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, and that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. And it shall be if thou do all, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish, as the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall ye perish, perish, because ye, ye would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Chapter 9 Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over the Jordan this day, to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven, a great, a people great and tall, the children of the Anakims, who thou knowest and of whom hast heard say, Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is, is he which goeth over before thee, as he as a consuming fire he de shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before they f thy face, so sh shalt thou drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord hath said unto thee. Speak not thou in thine heart, after that the Lord thy God hath cast them out before thee, saying, For my righteousness the Lord hath brought me in to possess this land, but for the wickedness of these nations the Lord doth drive them out before thee not for thy righteousness or for the uprightness of thine heart. Dost thou go to possess their land, but for the wickedness of these nations the Lord thy God doth drive them out before thee, and that they may perform the word which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Understand therefore that the Lord thy God giveth thee not, a, not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness, but thou art a stiff-necked people. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt until ye came unto this place. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord. 
Also in Herod, you provoked the Lord to wrath, so that the Lord was angry with you and with you to have destroyed you. When I was gone up into the mount to receive the tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant which the Lord made with you, then I abode in the mount forty days and forty nights, and I neither did eat bread nor drink water. And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the finger of God, and on them was written according all the words which the Lord spake with you in the mount on, out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of forty days and forty nights that the Lord gave me the two tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant. And the Lord said unto me, Arise, get thee down quickly from hence, for thy people which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They are quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten image. Furthermore, the Lord spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a molten calf. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tables and cast them out of my two hands and brake them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord, as at the first forty days and forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water, because all of your sins which ye had sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure wherewith the Lord was wroth against you to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also, and the Lord was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him, and I prayed for Aaron also to the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which ye had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust, and I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount, and at Tabera, and at Manasseh, and at the Kibaroth Hatatava, ye provoked the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barna, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then ye rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and ye believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. Ye have been rebe rebellious against the Lord from the days that I knew you. Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at first before the Lord had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore unto the Lord, and, and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou had brought for, brought us, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor their wickedness, nor for their sin. Lest the land whence thou brought us out us to say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he hath brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they are the people in thy inheritance, which thou broughtest out by the mighty power and by thy stretched arm.